Hi friends, welcome to Sparkling Future. In the Spark interview question series, let's see the differences between Union, Union All and Union by name in Apache Spark. So all these three transformations are used for combining two or more data frames and by stacking them on top of each other. So Union, it returns a new data frame that contains all the rows from each data frame involved in this operation and this will not remove the duplicates. In the SQL union, usually we see in SQL, it will remove the duplicates but here it will not remove the duplicates. Union all also same as union. So that's why it is replicated in SPAR 3.x. Okay, but the rest of the functionality is same as union. Whereas union by name is also to come used for combining two or more data frames but based on the column names rather than just by the position. Okay. So there is an option for adding the missing columns as well in union by name. Let's see this with an example. Friends, I have created three data frames here. So the first data frames frame contains two columns item and price the second data frame also with some extra data you can see the data is changed but the columns are same item and price and there is another data frame it has two columns but price and item if you can see here item and price but here it's interchanged to price and item now let's see how union union all and union by name will behave with this data when you say df1 dot union of df2 okay df1 is this one and df2 is this one so which means same columns are present in the same order okay if you see here when we perform the union on that kind of data it has stacked up both the data frames on top of each other so apple to grapes if you see the data here apple to grapes which is present in the data frame 1 is present here and then we have the second data frame with from chair to grapes so here you can see from chair to grapes here we can clearly notice that the duplicates are not removed from the union operation okay now let's do the same operation with union all when we perform union all also this exactly the same kind of result will be produced which means first it is combining the two data frames df1 and df2 and it is placing vertically like it is stacking vertically on top of each other and also it also contain this is the first data frame and this is the second data frame and it, it is also contains the duplicates okay there is no difference between union and union all next with the same data but we have uh, with the same operation like union we are doing the union with data frame 3 what is the data frame 3 the order of the columns are changed okay here item and price in the first and second data frames whereas in the third data frame we are taking price first and then the item when you do the union for df1 dot union of d3 dot show you can see that the because the number of columns are same here it is able to union the union both the data frames but for the second data frame you can see the values are interchanged means this is the item and this is the price whereas the values are appearing in the item item price is coming in the price price column uh, item item details are coming so which is wrong right so with this you can confirm that when you are using union you have to make sure that the columns are in the same order okay and also there is a rule for union that always both the num both the data frames are how many number of data frames you are performing union all the data frames should contain same number of columns and in the same order okay now 
let's do because union all there is no difference that's why i haven't done that even if i do the same result you would have got next the same operation let's do with union by name df1 dot union by name when i do see the result even though from grapes to the last column where is the data frame 3 here okay grapes uh, okay grapes is still here so data 3 is having from board which is from here board to last column we are having null i will show you the data again okay so item is appropriately is coming under the item column and price is coming under price column so even even though the order of the columns are different it is considering the combining of based on the name that's why it is best to use and also if you have noticed there is a duplicate record for apple but that is deduplicated de here which means that union by name is able to drop the duplicate records so now let's go back and check the data once again if you see board knife and there is a null value purposefully i kept it just to show you how it will come and at the end i have added the same record apple 250 and this has been removed after doing the union by name okay okay so now with this what and all we have seen is even though the order of the uh, columns are different it has combined two data frames based on the name of the columns second one is duplicates are removed okay now let's create another data frame with one extra column called quantity okay data frame four in the above three data frames we have two columns in each but this data frame four has one extra column quantity okay and when i do df1 union df4 okay df1 means having two columns item and price and df4 is the this newly created data frame which is having the three columns so here it will sh it will uh, show the error saying that num columns mismatch union can only be performed on inputs with the same number of columns okay now let's do the same operation with union by name even the union by name also will fail with the same error saying saying that union can only be performed on inputs with the same number of columns then what is the difference there is a difference what is that in the union by name we can send this extra parameter saying allow missing columns as true dot show in this case what it does it will create a new data frame with the new column and if there are no data or if that column is not present in any of the data frames it will update that with null and wherever the data is present that data will be fetched here okay got the difference so here we have three date three columns but whereas in the data frame one we have only two columns and for the this is from the first data frame which is data frame one quantity is not there so null null value is populated for all those columns and then the second data frame is tagged down to the first data frame but if you are noticed or not that duplicate record has come this is the difference so if you wanted to use this particular column means if you are not sure about the schema then you can use the union by name with allow missing columns but you have to use the drop uh, in uh, this uh, drop duplicates based on the column names means for this particular two columns which are common between the data frames right for that you can do you you have to whenever there, there are some common columns right for that you have to use the drop duplicates or simply you can just put distinct but distinct will not remove this particular one and also this is uh, having uh, what to say item is having the price price is having the item so when you use this particular allow missing columns to true there are some 
uh, disadvantages but for a trade off for not having error if there is a insufficient schema i mean conformed uh, schema then you can go ahead with this property now let's say we have two more data frames we have and we have to union def data frame 1 data frame 2 data frame 5 and data frame 6 four data frames if we wanted to union so how you will do first you will create a resultant data frame saying df1 dot union of df2 then resultant 2 df1 uh, then result dot uh, union of df5 then again result 1 dot union of df6 so in three different statements you have to do because union will take a single par single uh, data frame in input uh, as data frame right so now we have four data frames how to union all these together in one go is you can import reduce from the func tools library so create a list of all the data frames that you wanted to perform the union next create a data frame and use this reduce this is the reduce from which we have imported from func tools library and reduce use the lambda function x comma y x comma y means here we have two data frames that are participating right so that's why i have taken two variables here then x dot union by name of y comma dfs what is this dfs is this list of data frames that needs to be passed to this reduce function okay that list of the data frames now what here we are saying that is for the for whatever list of data frames present in this data frames perform the union by name operation between all these data frames and then result means whatever we are calculating this union by name right finally dot show and here you can see all the all the four data frames on the, all these four data frames are having the same number of columns in the same order you can actually try out with the different uh, column order of the column names and one extra column as well for using this reduce okay that assignment is given to you now you can see all the four data frames are combined here on one on top of each okay so this is how we can work with union union all and union by name hope you understand the differences between all the three thank you for watching the video friends please uh, uh, subscribe to my channel for more interesting learnings and there are more interview questions are on the way thank you bye